Hi, my name is Tristy and welcome to day 30 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. Wow, we finally made it to the end. What a crazy month. Um, I hope you've had some fun along the way. Today, we're going to get our app up and hosted um, on a cloud host. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to decide exactly which host I want to use. So what I'm going to do is actually split this video into uh, a couple of different videos. We're going to have one just uh, about preparing our app and getting it ready to deploy. And then I'm going to just pick a couple of hosts and show you how to deploy on a particular um, cloud host. All right, so let's let's do that. We'll try and keep this one um, nice and nice and quick and easy. So I've got um, production.js open over here. So in our main app uh, down in config environment production, um, we went through yesterday the, um, the, the assets and how they work and how they're sort of set up. And in the production um, file, we've got the libraries that contain our CSS and JS files, and ideally they're minified. So they've got the .min of the, um, of the file name. Um, but what we've also got is down the bottom here, we've, we've got this reference to CSS and JS, which is referring to this file um, at public slash dist slash application. Now, if you went and looked in your public folder, um, there's no there's no distribution folder um, sitting in there. Um, and the reason for that is the, these pieces or these files here are actually something um, that we, we, we need to generate um, before we push our app up into a production environment. Um, and what it what what it actually does is the app will go through and it will combine all of the files like the controllers and the, the services and the directives and all those different files into your application.min.js. So it will minify it, sort of squish them all together and um, kind of just leave the bits that are, are necessary. Um, and it will do the same with your CSS file. So you'll end up with just one file for your CSS and one for your JavaScript files that will cover um, or that will that will kind of squish together the files that you've got in in modules. Okay, um, so so let's do that. And the way that we do that is we just open up um, our uh, our terminal, and it's really really quite quite easy. We just need to type in here um, grant build. And we let um, we let Grunt go through and um, and build our app up for us. All right, cool. So so it's gone. All right, I'm going to go through and minify all these files that I found. Um, and you know we're all good. Here, here we go. So let's go and have a quick look. So if we just um, sort of quickly refresh our public folder. There we go. Just make that a little bit smaller. So you can see now that there's a distribution file that's magically appeared. And um, it's got our application files sitting in there. And so these are the ones that we're referring to here. So fantastic. We're almost there. Before, um, I, I'm happy to, uh, to push, push these details and push these files up into um, the cloud. I want to make sure that I've got the right um, Mongo database that I'm referring to. So what I'm, what I'm actually going to do is go and set up a new one really quickly. So I've gone across to Compose. Um, I've logged in. And I'm just going to jump down Oops, over here. To, um, to Sandbox, and I'm just going to set up a new um, Sandbox. So I'll just call it 30-day uh, challenge, add that. And um, you know, similar to what we've done in, in the very, very first video when we kick this whole process off, we just go and set up our admin user. So just go across to admin, users, uh, remove the ones we got so they can go. I'm just going to add a new one here. So I'll just keep the same thing that I've used before. So mean user, mean pass. So add that guy. Um, just jump across to overview. And we just want to grab what's in Mongo URI. So copy that um, and just paste it in here. So this is just the easiest, quickest way to to get this to work. Um, and then user, you just plug in the user. So mean user and plug in a pass. All right, cool. So now um, now we're, we're almost there. Um, one last thing before we're ready to go is we just need to push everything, um, push all our changes into Git. So we've got our Git 
um, package ready to then deploy um, from, from here on in. So I'm just going to go to um, package.json and I'm just going to change um, the version. So I'm just going to make that version 2 um, so that I know that um, this is the version that I'm using for this particular uh, file. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Um, and then I'm just going to go down to changes and VCS and I'm just going to commit this file. So I'm going to commit that and that will um, set that up in Git for me. Um, uh, what I can do is if you're, if you're not using WebStorm, I'll just put the commands into um, the possible blog um, for this video. All right, we just commit that. Good stuff. So that's where I'm going to leave it for this video. I'm going to pick it up again um, and have a separate video for a couple of different cloud hosts. Um, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details. And I'll see you again very soon.